So in this very short video, I'm going to teach you how to install Maven in your system and you'll be able to use it to package your application and deploy it. So you have the, I have this application I, I, I built uh, Time Leap, using Time Leap and, and, and Spring Boot. So how do I compile this application into a single JAR file and then deploy it or send it to anyone so that you can easily run it as a single JAR file? So that you can do using Maven. So in my system now, I don't have Maven. So if I go to uh, MVN, MVN minus version, you see that MVN is not recognized. So uh, that is the problem. All right. So uh, now to download Maven and install, actually, you actually don't have to do anything much. So you're going to go to maven dot apache.org slash download download dot cgi if you are joining for the first time please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel in this way you don't miss any updates from me now this is some confusion that i faced when i was starting initially so when you go to the download page you see a number of things you see the binary zip archive now i'm talking about installing maven on windows i'm using windows 10 but any other windows is okay now you don't have to worry about the 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 the, the, uh, the, the whether your the, the operating system is 64 bit or 32 bit so now if you go to you have apache maven 36 src gz blah 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 so we're interested in either the binary zip or the source zip. Now, this is where you need to be very careful. If you download the source zip, then most likely you have some issues. So you'll need to download the Apache Maven 3.6.3 bin.zip, all right? So you just click on it and it will start downloading. I'll simply, okay, so it downloads as you can see. So if I go to my downloads folder, let me just show you, you see that it downloaded uh, perfectly right here in my download folder. So I downloaded it two times. So what you can do is to simply unzip it. So right click and simply extract files and you have the folder uh, of the extracted files. So for me, I copied it from downloads to my drive D right here, Apache Maven 3.6.3. So you don't need to install it. So provided you put it in somewhere in your system where uh, you are comfortable, it should be. So the next thing we want to do is to add Maven to the environment variable and also add Maven home to the path variable. So I'm going to right click on my computer and simply go to properties. And in properties, I can now set the environment variable. So now I'm going to go to advanced system settings. And in advanced system settings right here, I'm going to go to environment variables. All right, so I need to first set the Maven home in the user variables for me. These should be user variables for your username. And then I also set the path system variable. So I'm going to go to new. And I'm going to create a new variable I'm going to call Maven Home. Maven Home. Maven Home. Now, the value is what is very, 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 very important. So you go to where you place the, the Maven directory, open it, and that is your Maven Home. So simply copy it, that directory and put it as a value of the Maven Home and say OK. Now, the bin directory now, you need to put it, copy the bin directory, uh, the, the path to the, the bin directory, yes, and put it in the path variable right here, path, and just click on edit. And you can just say new and just paste it right here. All right, paste it. Okay, so if I check, I think it should be there, edit. You can see uh, right here, Apache Maven type bin. Okay, okay. So I think at this point we have Maven uh, set up in our system. So if I go back to my command prompt, I'm actually going to clo uh, close it and reopen it. So I'm going to say CMD to get back to the command prompt at this point. And I'm, I'm say MVN minus version. You can see that we'll receive uh, the version 3.6.3. So Maven is installed, everything is okay. It's a Maven home and the Java version is also there because I already have Java in my system. Now, if I go back to my application and right click at this point and go to 
showing local terminal and I choose git bash or terminal, either of the two is okay. I like using git bash. If you don't have git bash, uh, look at the description box, you'll see a video there. You see how to set up git bash. So I, I can now type to compile and create the jar file for this project. I can simply say m bn clean install. So basically, clean simply means that you should uh, delete whatever is in the directory before and, and create a new installation or a new package. So I'm going to run it. And you can see it will start running successfully. So it actually builds this project, create a de deployment, and also run the tests. Uh, normally, I should actually have skipped running of the tests by saying skip tests, but for now, this is fine. So it will simply take a few couple of seconds, but it's okay. So everything runs perfectly, and I'm going to show you the, the, the jar file that will be created that you can now um, uh, distribute if you want, right? So let's see. So, so far, so good. Uh, you can see. And... Yeah, so let's see, All right? So, so uh, zero failure, zero error, zero skip, and now you have the package. Okay, so, okay. So as you can see at this point, it's run successfully. So if we now go to to the location, so you can see the location created. It tells you this is the location. You can see blah 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 uh, snapshot the jar. So let's go to that location. I'm going to just copy everything. Uh, so you just copy from here all the way to this place. So if I visit this location, I should be able to have the the the. I should be able to have the, the, the jar file right there. So, uh, let's see, uh, snapshot hotel. Let me copy again. Let me just copy it a second time and it's just paste control B. Let's shift this backwards. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to simply navigate to the place. So just go here. Okay, so we have, I think it places inside timely app. Okay, so it should be in um, uh, targets and see, allow us size. So it's trying to run at this point. So allow us size, no problem. So for, for sure, you may not be able, you may not see this. We just want to see the, the jar file. So you can see. The jar file, I think I clicked on it by mistake, so it's actually starting to run. So the jar file for the application, you can see it right here. So this jar file now, you can easily run it by saying uh, .jar, right? So uh, this is how to set up Maven, and this is how to use Maven. So um, you already know how to run a jar file, simply go to the directory, the command prompt to this directory and simply say java uh, minus jar and specify the name of this jar file. So let me just show you just in case. So I'm going to copy this and let's go to the command prompt cmd. So I'm going to just put this right here, control V. Uh, actually, I should have said CD so I can change to this directory. So I can say CD to this directory, and I can simply go to Java minus Java and time leave, time leave up uh, 0 0.0.1 snapshots. Snapshots dot jar. So at this point, this application is going to run as a jar file, and I should be able to use this application running as a jar file. It's actually going to start the Tomcat server in whatever port, in port 8080. As you can see, it started Tomcat in port 8080, and we can actually browse this application at this point. So if I simply go to Okay, so uh, I think it's already running, so that's why. So we have it here. So meanwhile, it starts Tomcat, and you can actually browse 
this application. I would like to stop here. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like my video and share it around if this has been informative for you. If you have any challenges, also let me know by leaving a comment below. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.